Welcome to my first video. I think it'll be my first video by the time I post this. Um, maybe I'll do something before. But yes, I bought a pop-up camper and I wanted to show you guys my renovations for it. It ended up taking two weeks. Everything for sure is under a thousand, but the actual renovations of the camper without the technical stuff probably only somewhere around 500. Yeah, I'm super excited. It turned out really, really well. I didn't want to show you guys too much so obviously these are just the new curtains i will show you guys exactly what i did so that if you are looking to also buy a pop-up camper or if maybe you were thinking about buying a van or uh you know something else more expensive this is definitely a good cheap alternative option for you um definitely a lot more space i'll probably make another video about why i ended up buying a pop-up camper instead of a van or a hard trailer which is what i was looking at as well but yeah so this video is going to be all about the waterproofing the canvas and painting everything which took a lot of work i thought i would be able to do everything in like one weekend and i ended up pretty much painting for like a weekend and a couple of my days like four days or so and yeah so super excited and i will show you guys and let's get into it. So I bought a pop-up camper. So excited. Oh, super sunny. This is it there. It's a Jayco, very old, 1996. Yep, 1996. And yeah, I'm gonna be renovating it this week. So I will bring you guys along for a video. Super, super excited. I'm gonna be taking it around Canada this summer. And yeah, oh man, I'm just like, so excited if you can't tell by my face i can't stop smiling <laughs> um so yeah it was nice and cheap and yeah just gonna put some a little bit of tlc into it and yeah it'll be good i'm so pumped here is the before of my jayco pop-up camper it was very old and very ugly on the inside with the old nasty patterned cushions just red curtains that old wood style. Yeah, no, it's nice. So first thing you want to do is make sure your camper is clean. Uh, I got recommended to do just vinegar and water and some dish soap um, just to clean the canvas. So you just go around, make sure that's kind of wiped down everywhere. Um, basically everywhere that you want to waterproof, you just want to make sure it's nice and clean, especially if it's a brand new used camper. Um, so just make sure you go all the way around, cleaning all the sides, clean on the inside too if you want, if it's dirty, but not necessary. And then I used this Nick Wax waterproofing. So it was really, really easy. All you have to do is spray it on and then leave it for a bit and wipe it down. I actually had to redo some parts here because I wiped it off a little bit too quickly. But yeah, just make sure you get something similar to that. I got it from Cabela's, um, so I know that it is going to work really well. So once you kind of wipe down the entire canvas, um, pull the beds down so you can get the top part of it. I didn't realize that I couldn't reach at first with the ladder. Um, so if you do have a ladder, then no need. You can keep the beds up, but just make sure you get every single little piece of that canvas because you do not want it dripping on you. The most important thing actually is to do the silicone. So silicone waterproofing, like that is where you're really going to get any leaks. So since mine is really old, um, this really, really needed to be updated. So step number two is to get everything ready to paint and finally start painting. So first thing I did was take off all of the doors and hinges and little accessory pieces. And actually there was some old paper as well. So quick tip, if you take a hairdryer, that old glue gets hot and the paper comes off really, really easily. So next I wanted to just take everything out of the camper, anything that I didn't want to get paint on. So all of the beds, all the random tools and things. Um, just make it a nice space to start painting in. All right, let's take a look. So the nice old vinyl wood. Can't wait to get rid of that. Those gross water stains on the canvas. Yep, I am very happy that I will not have to see this 
ever again. <laughs> So when you start painting, first thing you want to do is put TVP on everything. So it just prepares the surface for painting and kind of takes off any grease or like dust particles, dirt, um, and it just makes the primer and paint go on really nice. And the primer that I'd recommend is this Kills. Uh, so it's a Kills primer. Um, you do two coats of it. So the first coat, it actually goes on quite thick, um, but I definitely needed two coats. And you want to make sure you really take your time. Like if you think it needs three coats because maybe something's a little bit darker, definitely when you take your time with priming, the paint will just go on so much better. So after I did the doors, I did all the trim on the inside and then rolled the middle. Um, as you can see here, like I said, it is going on quite thick, but yeah, you definitely need two coats of this. And to be honest, it was super fun to cover up that wood. I just could not wait to see that go. <laughs> and if you look at my floor, the floor is white, but with the white primer, it actually looks a little bit yellow. So for my color that I ended up choosing, I'm going to go with a little bit darker. So as you can see here, if I went with white, it's like the primer, the floor is just going to look yellow. So don't do that if you also have a white floor. So I actually also painted the little accessories with a black spray paint. This is a high heat spray paint used for barbecues. Um, I picked high heat because I needed to spray paint my vent and then it actually just worked out quite well that it was sticking very nicely to these pieces as well. All right, so look at that water stain. I was so excited when I learned that you can paint canvas because ugh, that roof and everything, like it looks so much nicer with the paint. So I just bought a little quart of the gray to match that one up there. So when it dries, it's actually going to be a lot darker and it is going to be around the same color of the gray there. Um, but yeah, just to freshen it up and get rid of those water stains because of the red curtains and all of the frilly fabric was kind of like whenever it would get damp, it would bleed onto the canvas. This was just a nice, easy solution. Freshen it up and make it look really nice and new. So happy to learn you could do that but we did water it down. So our paint here for the canvas was about one quarter water. Okay, and now the fun part. So my paint I chose, like I said, I went a darker color. I chose to do a charcoal gray sort of um, color. And yeah, right now first coat is definitely going on super nice because of those two coats of primer. Um, but again, this is just the first coat and for sure I'm gonna need two of them. I did actually end up doing three coats in a few spots, but yeah, you just want to make sure to take your time and just do it properly and make sure you get everything um, because, you know, paint is really going to make a huge difference. Definitely the biggest transformation. So here's all my doors done. I believe they already had two coats on at that point. And then lastly, I did another touch up of black spray paint on the accessories just to make sure that they were all covered and ready to go for going back in the camper. And actually, I did take the red trim off of it around the table and the countertops. I wasn't going to originally um, because I didn't know how hard it would be, but it turned out really, really well. So last but not least, I wanted to do a little bit more canvas painting on the other bedside just because it also had quite a few stains. Uh, so I ended up doing the window and the roof. All right, let's take a look one last time at the before painting. Ugh, that old vinyl wood, I'm so excited that the that you can paint it to see that gone and those water stains. Ugh, man, I am very excited for this transformation. All right, and after painting here. So of course everything's not done yet, but that is now the two coats of primer, two coats of paint. And I cannot wait to do all the final touches. Alright guys, well that is part one of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you've learned a little something, maybe got some inspiration for your own camper. And yeah, I can't wait to show you part two where I'm going to go over interior decorating stuff and really just like how it all came together. So I am super, super excited to show you that. And yeah, if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, that would be amazing because I plan to keep these videos coming. This summer, I'm just going to be traveling around Canada with my pop-up camper now. So yeah, I'll probably take you guys along the way because why not? 
So yeah, like and subscribe. And yeah, can't wait to see you in the next video, Renovation Part 2. <laughs>